Did you know that you don't actually have to spend hundreds of dollars on Windows? You can get it completely for free. Let's show you how to get Windows 10 or 11. And if you do want to activate it, I'll take you through the Who Keys website, where I buy all of my Windows keys from for one tenth of the price that Microsoft wants to rob you for. Now to get started, all you're gonna need is a USB drive with at least eight gigabytes of storage. And of course, access to the internet or a computer, whether that's a laptop, a family friend's computer, the library, it doesn't matter, as long as you have access to the internet to download the Windows installation media onto the USB drive. Now with your USB drive, make sure you have no important files on there because everything on here will be deleted. So clean it off before you start this process. You can now insert the USB into the PC. So now that we're on the computer, just type in Google, install, Windows 10 or 11, depending on what you want to install on your new PC. Now, sometimes a couple of scam sites will pop up, so you need to make sure it is the legit Microsoft account. In my case, it's popped up right at the top, so I'm going to click on that. Now, on Microsoft's website, you'll be prompted with a few installation options. We actually want to create a Windows 11 installation media, so we can click download now. We can now run the file. So when you get to this page, you need to choose which you want. Obviously, we're going to a USB flash drive, and this is where it actually says it needs to be at least eight gigabytes in capacity. Click next. Make sure you click on your drive down here that you want to install the installation media on. In my case, it is this F drive right here. And click next. Now this is gonna take a couple of minutes, so go grab yourself a coffee and we'll be right back. All right, now it's all ready to go, so we can click finish, and then we can safely eject it from the system. Congratulations, you now have Windows on your USB, and so it's time to plug this in to your new computer that you want Windows installed on. Once it's plugged in, you can now turn your PC on. Now, most of the time, if it's a fresh PC, the Windows loader will launch by itself. But if it doesn't, you may need to go into the BIOS and that is simply done by pressing the delete key on the keyboard constantly. Now guys, keep in mind that this step is only for those of you who don't have the Windows bootloader show up straight away. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to the boot tab and then you're gonna find the boot priority options. So in here, we wanna look for something that is called UEFI vendor code product code. So that's actually going to be our USB. Now if I set that as boot option one, that means when I exit, save and reset and click okay, it should reset and then our windows will show up this time to install it onto our drives. Now, one piece of advice as you go to install Windows is I actually recommend unplugging all extra hard drives that you have in your system that you don't want Windows on. Sometimes when you're installing Windows, it can create extra partitions. So part of the Windows goes on the other drives and that's not what we want. In our case here, unfortunately, because of how complex this PC is, we can't access the other drives. So I have left them plugged in. It's not to say that there's always gonna be a stuff up, but it does happen sometimes. So your next step is actually going through the Windows prompts. Now this is gonna be customizable to the individual as we all live in different places. We all have different preferences. So make your way through this. Once you get to this page, click, I don't have a product key because we're gonna get a cheaper key later from whokeys.com and it's gonna save us so much money. Choose the particular version of Windows you want to install. I'm going to go Windows 11 Pro. A lot of you may select Home as well as another option, but for me, Pro seems to be the best option. I like to click Custom Install because I could choose the particular drive I want it installed on. So for me, I've actually got four drives in this system. This one here, down the bottom, I'm actually going to set to be the Windows drive. I want Windows on there. I don't want too much else on there apart from a few programs. And then the rest is gonna be for storage. So let's click next. And then it'll go through the installation process. Now guys, after a few minutes, you will be prompted with some setup questions and your PC may restart a few times. This is completely normal during the process. It's just part of the loading process. So make your way through these. These are obviously unique to the individual. Then after that, you'll be in Windows. Congratulations, you have just installed Windows and you can use it as you please. However, we are very limited in the features that we can use because we haven't activated it yet. So let me show how you could get a Windows key for a fraction of retail price. So to grab your key for cheap, head on over to whokeys.com. 
Now, who keys sell loads of keys? They're super cheap. I've been using them for years. So they are my go-to when it comes to getting keys for some cheaper games or even Microsoft Office products or our Windows keys. So at this point, you need to remember exactly which version of Windows you installed on your PC because if you buy the wrong key, it's not gonna work. Now, we installed Windows 11 Pro. So, Windows 11 Pro on here, you can get for 30 US dollars. And with our discount code IFR25, you could actually save 25%, so keep that in mind. Now, if you actually got Windows 10 Pro for your personal PC, you can expect to pay $23.48. But remember, IFR25, save 25% off, and get yourself that sweet discount. Also, a little bit of a trick, a lot of people actually get the Windows 10 Pro key and install Windows 10 Pro because then you get the free upgrade to Windows 11. So you're just saving a little bit of money there if you know how to do that yourself. Also, Microsoft is trying to hose everyone into a subscription, which I think is just ridiculous. So if you wanna get you know, Word or Excel or PowerPoint, all those Microsoft products for your PC, you can get yourself Office 2021 Pro for 120 US dollars. Of course, use code IFR25 and you'll save money on that. So this does say delivery time, three to five minutes. However, I usually get it instantly. So I'm gonna add it to the shopping cart and then I'm gonna to proceed to checkout. Now this is where we can enter our code. So we wanna type IFR25 for 25% off. If we click apply, you can see we've just got 25% off, bringing it down to $23.22. Let's submit the order. Now there's a load of payment methods. You could use Visa, MasterCard, PayPal, and I'm gonna go with PayPal. So we've made our purchase just then, and if we go to view keys and codes, it looks like we've already got the key, so that was instantly. All we have to do in my purchased orders, you click get the key, and it will reveal the key down below. Now, of course, the key's blurred for obvious reasons, but all you have to do is copy this key, and then when you start typing activate, in the Windows search, you bring up this screen. Now it says it's not active yet. All you have to do is go to change product key, paste your key in, click next, click activate, and Windows is fully activated. You can now use all of Windows features. Now guys, if you do run into any issues, not to worry, they have a live chat here. They've also got 24 hour support, so they'll get you sorted. I've never had an issue with any keys on the website and they've got plenty of ways to contact as well. And just like that guys, we've fully activated Windows. So if you wanna learn more about whokeys.com and check it out for yourself, I'll leave the links in the video description. But honestly, I've been using them for years. I've saved so much money with them. You don't wanna pay Pay full price from Microsoft. It's honestly a robbing. So go check them out, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.